What's going on YouTube? Jason Marker here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a product for you. But I don't think it's on the market yet. So, I don't think it will be on the market. I'm not sure. All I know is that I won this in a giveaway off the channel of Wolfpack Nerf. I'll put his stuff in the description, his channel and all that good stuff. But today, I will be reviewing his 3D printed Jolt Holster. Now, um, starting off to say... I got this thing maybe in, I think I got it in on Saturday last week, so, yeah. Can't really, you know, can't only say I've had the most experience with it, but I've looked at it enough to know, like, what's going on with it. So, I'm going to give the best type of a uh, review I can. So, let's get the jolts out. Just get the holster for a bit. Um, so, it is a very rectangular design. It's like a cube. I think it's honestly pretty good looking. Um, it has the space for the jolt in here, along with, in the back, it has a place to put, like, it on a belt, kind of thing. And, um, if you take a look, this jolt, which doesn't have a, uh, muzzle thing, I'll get to that later, um, just slots in there. And it's pretty tight in there. It won't come out, even if I try. Like, even if I start shaking it, it's not going to come out. And pulls out pretty effortlessly. So let's get to what I really, really like about this. So first off, the way it looks, the way it was printed, it looks amazing. This thing is very, very slick, streamlined. I like all the corners and stuff. But like the cor some of the corners are rounded, so it makes it look a bit better. I like the way it's designed. Also, the fact that it's so tight, I can't get the thing out. If I wanted to, when I'm doing this, but I can just pull it out. It's got good resistance in there, which means that it's going to stay in there good fitting for the jolt, and it's a good size for a little holster for it, because I was pulling out the wrong way. Um, if you take a look, like, this like the back, here's the jolt. It's not that much bigger than the jolt. Like, not that much, like, you know, bleh. Like, overall, this thing is pretty small, so, oh, I'm the wrong way. <laughs> if you try to get it in, it works pretty alright. I'm trying something out that I don't think would work. Well, but if you wanted to, you could load it in backwards. I don't know why you'd do that, but you can. Well, let's get about what's a bit um, more on the iffy side for me. I'm not saying this is a bad product. I'm just saying there's some stuff that I could see uh, happening a bit better. But, you know, some of these are a bit me being nitpicky. So, here we go. First off, you need to have a jolt that doesn't have the muzzle on it, which is a very big nitpick kind of thing. But you can just pry it off with uh, with like a thing of pliers. Or you just have like the OG jolt. Um, secondly, um, it is a bit um, squishy your dart if you push all the way in while you have a dart in there. But you probably shouldn't do that. Because if you push all the way in, then it kind of gets a bit deeper in there. Which makes it a bit harder to pull out at times. But if you have a dart in there, then having it just at the top, barely any resistance kind of. But another big thing I gotta kind of nitpick about is the fact that because of how tight it is in here um, when it's on your belt or wherever it is if you just pull on the jolt you might plot the entire holster I have done that when testing it but um, to alleviate the issue what I do is I just push on the holster while I'm pulling the jolt with my thumb so like if it's in there just push because if it's down there and I push on it then I can get the jolt out pretty fine and you know just requires a bit of effort. But then there's the biggest nitpick I have, and that's the fact that... Belt. I wear battle belts with my um, molly rig, so... I don't really trust this on my battle belt, because I, I don't want like the clip to break. I don't know how good like the strength is on it, and I don't want to test that. Cause I, it's probably really good strength, honestly, but I don't want to like warp, bend out and not be able to clip on anything. So what would I do to alleviate this? Well, I'd put it on probably the waist of my pants, or I'd just wear another belt with my pants and put it on that belt, which is fine. If I had a molly attachment thing, I would love it a lot more because I could just put it on my battle belt and just what. But yeah, so what do I think about this? I think it's a good holster, honestly. I do appreciate the work that went into it. 
and honestly, I don't know a lot about 3D printing, so this is one of the coolest 3D printed things I've seen. So yeah, I hope that you guys got some got, got something out of this. Um, I'll I'm linking to Wolfpack Nerf so on YouTube in the description, and maybe maybe in the future he'll sell these things. I don't know. You never know. But with that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching the video. Did you like it? Leave a like. Did you not? Leave a dislike. Comment below on what I can do better. Subscribe if you're new. Shoot the notification bell with your jolt. And, yeah. This is a good holster. I'll probably use it. And if not, it at least makes a really good display piece. I mean, look at that. You got a little jolt. I might keep that as a display piece if I don't use it. And honestly, if it didn't have the clip on there, it would be a perfect little display piece. Just put like a little, little painted jolt in there. Just sit it on a shelf. It'll be pretty. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.